Hey everyone, you may hear my son in the background. We're back to full-time remote learning here in New England. So, yep, you may hear him during this video. So anyhow, I'm kind of like all snuggled up and comfy today, but I did have two Oracle decks arrive and I wanted to do reveals of those decks for you guys. Uh, many of you know that <clears throat> Alana Fairchild's Isis Oracle is my number one Oracle deck of like all time. If you told me that I could only have one Oracle deck ever, it would be that one. Um, I consider Isis my patroness. And um, that oracle deck is just spot on to how I experience the goddess's energy. And it's a deck that's just continued to grow even sweeter with time for me. So, of course, when I heard that Alana was creating the Kali oracle, I was very, very excited. And some of you who followed the channel for years were so kind <laughs> to let me know that it was coming, that it was upcoming, uh, and to make sure to pre-order it. Because as you guys know, I'm just honestly too busy to follow kind of new deck releases. So those of you who reached out to me, I just wanted to say thank you so much because I might not have even known that it was that it was upcoming if you guys hadn't let me know. So I really want to say thank you to you guys for that. And also, some of you may or may not know, but Kali Ma is the first form of deity that I, well, I shouldn't say that, Kuan Yin and Kali Ma together were the first forms of deity that I ever, ever worked with or connected with consciously outside of a traditional religious experience in my life. So I have a very soft spot in my heart for Kali Ma. And even though she is not my patroness, she is a goddess that shows up at very specific points in my life, usually when I need a really good ass kicking. But she is not just that energy, and I know that Alana is going to allow her other sides to be revealed in this deck as well. Now, Jimmy Manton, who did the artwork in the Isis Oracle, also has done the artwork in the Kali Oracle. Um, so... Needless to say, I have expectations for this deck. I'm not going to lie to you. And I have been waiting and waiting for this deck to show up. So I'm super, super excited to see what it looks like. And I debated about if I was going to share my first thoughts and feelings <laughs> and first look with you guys. But um, I, I want to get some more videos out for you all this month. And this felt like a really nice way to connect together. So the front, this is what the front looks like. It's still wrapped in plastic, as you can see, so sorry for that reflection from the laptop. So Alana Fairchild, Kali Oracle, Ferocious Grace and Supreme Protection with the Wild Divine Mother. Um, now, you guys, some of you may remember um, that the Wild Kuan Yin deck is like the wild face of, I would say, the maiden, right? So I'm just going to pull the plastic off while I'm doing this part. Kali, the Wild Mother of Divine Grace. Spiritual freedom and radical transformation embraces your courageous soul. Kali, the wrathful goddess of supreme spiritual protection, welcomes your tender heart. Kali, the pure and ever watchful, stands against all that obstructs your fulfillment. The ego may fear her, but your true self takes comfort in her ferocious compassion and unyielding wisdom. Dance, revel, and rejoice in the presence of the Great Mother. With the empowering insight of Alana Fairchild and the striking imagery of Jimmy Manton, this unique oracle set is an offering of guidance, clarity, and healing that invokes unconditional love, divine blessing, and authentic spiritual unfoldment. Share sacred space with Goddess Kali in her many forms for a direct experience of her alchemical power. Be held in the glory of her being and behold your destiny. Dedicated to your bold and tender heart for the spiritual liberation of all beings. Does it say how many cards it is? No. We're about to find out. Ooh, inside of the tuck box is beautiful. It's like that kind of carmine orange. Do you all know I love a carmine orange? I love a Jean Harlow lip. Um, okay. Interesting. Oh my God, isn't that image beautiful? When Jimmy gets it right, he gets it so right. And when he doesn't, he gets it so wrong. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, okay, so this looks like a serious guidebook from Alana. She didn't phone this one in. It's 221 pages. And it looks like we get small card reproduction, introductory paragraph that kind of hits the bullet points, and then several paragraphs discussing, even a couple pages discussing the card itself, 
and an invocation ritual. So it looks like a really nice guidebook from her. It doesn't look as intense as the Wild Kuan Yin Oracle, but you're still getting a lot of a lot of meat. Um, and I just want to see if we have... Okay, so there are 44 cards as normal from Alana. And I'm sorry if I didn't show that. There's The guidebook is the same as the tuck box cover. Nice solid tuck box from Blue Angel. I always keep my Blue Angel tuck boxes. They look nice, to, you know, on the shelf, but they're also like really sturdy and they protect your cards when they're on vacation very well. Card backing. I mean, I I love skulls. You guys know this about me. Um, I don't know. It's not my least favorite or my most favorite. I don't like this little running runner. Excuse me, on the bottom. But I don't hate it. I like that it's only on two, not four. So that's our first feeling. This is how I love my cardstock to feel. Nice and matte, not too slippery. Let's see what they gave us. Yeah, nice solid cardstock. I am not going to attempt to pronounce the names because I will butcher them and I do not want to do that. I'm, I respect Kali dearly. And so I'm just going to show you the images. I'm going to go through and show you all of them. I know I don't normally do that, but I really want a chance to just get to look at every card in this deck. One of my lovely tarot friends sent me um, her reveal of opening it, and so I kind of have an idea of what I'm looking at, but I also want to be able to really like let this sink in in real time. So there's our first card, which I love that imagery. I love this one. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this one. Oh, it's beautiful. This one was like a teaser one that they had put on Instagram. And I was like, oh my god, I can't wait. All right, so this is typical of like the Viking Oracle that Jimmy did. And um, in the Halloween Oracle where you see this type of kind of... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't always love it when he does that. We'll see what we've got going on here. That one's fascinating. I just don't like it when he like co cuts and pastes or copies and pastes from other images, and it, it, so it just starts to feel a little bit like he's kind of phoning it in, you know. And like he didn't do it in the Isis Oracle or. Um, there's another one he did with Alana where you don't see those repeater images, but in a lot of decks he's done since then you do. And I just, I don't always love it when he does that. Here's the kind of more um, authentic depiction of the traditional imagery that we would think of with Kalima. Oh my gosh, I love this one. See, it's like the same, it's a very similar imagery with the necklace, but... I'm, I'm being a little nitpicky. I'm, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. So just, I'm just, and of course she does have a necklace of skulls, so we do need to see that. There's that one. Oh my God, this one's gorgeous. This very similar similar to in the Isis Oracle where for specific imagery there'll be just this. Like this is specifically um, a chakra and with the mala beads and so we can see what's going on there in that imagery. Love this one. Bajra Kali. Um, this was also one that was a teaser and I was like, oh, I need this deck in my life so bad. Yeah, so we get another one kind of similar to Vikings Oracle. Mahakali here. Love this one. Oh, look at Blue Tara, guys. So then we have another repeater skull shown up here, like I said. Like, this is one of my little quibbles with Jimmy. Just because... Oh my god, I love this one, guys. I'm sorry, side point, I need to go into card number 22. Do you guys see that one? Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Um, just because it's it's like, couldn't we create, even though you're, you're wanting to go back to like a fundamental, couldn't we create another image for it? Did we have to just 
copy and paste. So a little bit of oh, this one's beautiful. A little bit, um, yeah, I. that's a little disappointing to me, but on the whole, this deck is knocking it out of the park for me. Look at this one. She's so beautiful. Oh. And I actually love that she's a little sexy, you know? I mean, there is a sexy, fierceness is sexy. that one guys and you know I will do a full review of this deck once it feels appropriate to um, just as I've done for I think every single one of Alana's decks I should actually go through and make sure I have because uh, on a hot Takali here um, because I, I do I do love her decks and I, I, I do like to offer that for you guys I know for some of you who have been viewers for a long time you really like my reviews so I will actually go through and see if I have reviewed every Alana deck, and if I haven't, I will make a point of doing that. Dharma of Kali, this was another teaser one that I freaking loved, and it's beautiful in person. Oh my god. Can't you see that as like a tattoo on each side of the ribs, right? Sorry, you guys can probably hear Vincent right there. There's another floral depiction. And of course, we know that the lotus does have great meaning. So I'm not saying just another floral depiction with that. I don't mean to sound disrespectful there. Um, it's interesting, just the floral imagery though. Mantra Shakti here. Oh, guys, look at this next one, card number 42. I'm not going to, I don't want to butcher it. It's beautiful, huh? Wow. Love this one. And then card number 44. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. On the whole, this deck is stunning. The cardstock is my favorite yummy buttery suede smoothness. I love the card size. It's traditional Blue Angel. Um, here's Alice the Wonderland Oracle for comparison. Uh, the guidebook looks like it's serious business. This is a deck that I will echo one of my friends who said to me, she feels like it's one that like requires you to get to know it. Um, those are my favorite kind of decks. I like to work for my relationships. <laughs> Taurus life. Um, but no, this, this is definitely one that's going to require a lot of time, connection, devotion, um, working with her. But Kali always makes that devotion worth it. I do think that this is, at least from first glance, a relatively relatively accurate depiction of Ma Kali from how I experience her. And so I'm really excited to spend time with this deck, guys. So this is the Kali Oracle by Alana Fairchild. Uh, there's the unboxing. I'll be looking for a review coming probably next month. Sending you all so much love and many blessings as always. I'll see you in the next video.